All right, folks, welcome back to the Daily Channel. Today we are checking out America's Golf Clearance Outlet. We've been here a couple of times before, and this place is very interesting. It's almost like it's like- a Blast from the past. Yeah, blast from the past. It's like stuck in time. They've got some really cool stuff, and they also have like, we'll just uh, show you, but it's right on International Drive. You got people, oh, they're getting their photo taken. They went on a helicopter tour. <laughs> Yeah. They still have Ben Hogan on the... Like, oh, yeah. The, the uh, that one's kind of sad and depressing. Ben yeah. Hogan's no longer in business, but also there's a Del Taco across the street. So this is like the ultimate little stop right here. But let's see if they got any deals for us, and we'll just take a look at everything that they got because this place is super interesting, like I said. Well, starting off with some absolute bangers right here. Check out this Hogan staff bag. That is so cool. We also got some uh, McGregor persimmons and a set of the uh, Apex PCs, the percussion centers. Those things are absolutely stunning. We've already seen some uh, cool things uh, in here as well let's check out the used iron section we got some uh, s58 going for 425 we got some ping is i got a couple of set of the uh, ping isis got some ping g25s well i haven't seen these cpr this model of the cpr in a long time mm -hmm. uh, ashley's not this uh, particular cpr but she had a set and she almost quit golf right at the beginning yeah you didn't <laughs> like those ones at all oh yeah yeah wilson pmp wedge going for 80 dollars. those are super underrated and very nice got a bunch of uh, different wilson stuff also what's in that box oh Exotics, the limited, limited edition tour edge oh man check out i didn't even notice all those putters Huh. I like the mural too. Yeah, you got a bunch of uh, high-end putters and Scotty Cameron's in there. He's got a Scotty Cameron uh, little sign. <laughs> Remember we were at Golf Galaxy and they gave us one of the signs? It was like a <laughs> giant one. We'll show you a picture of that. I think it was like literally the size of that uh, Mizuno thing. They're like, yeah, we're not going to use it anymore. And I asked if I could have it and they're like, yup. <laughs> well, if you don't ask, you never know. <laughs> but uh, we got a TP Mills down here as well. TPM2 going for $30. Got an Odyssey grip on there as well. What else was this one? There's so many uh, interesting and old weird things in here. Got a yes. Oh, nice. The Sandy 12. Yeah, some of the yes putters are getting ridiculously hard to find. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got a cool old uh, Callaway staff bag in here, but this is kind of the thing that I was uh, talking about. It's like a time capsule because they have brand new uh, clubs that have, haven't come out in like 15 years. You got a uh, MacTech NVG2 brand new in plastic right, that thing so came out like yeah and get like a brand new one. i don't know I just, for some reason often. i just find that fascinating like this club is like 15 years old and it's still brand new in plastic yeah. in here this is where you used to visit when you would come yeah we used to too, whenever so. we uh, came to orlando when i was younger this is the store that we'd uh hit up and some of the stuff is like still like the, like the adam's blue this so club cool. came out like eight years ago this is brand new in plastic some of the stuff is uh, newer like you got a Callaway maverick and some of the rivas but just like the rare chance that you're looking to replace something this no is the, yeah it. look at that us. yeah no one's touched <laughs> it the last uh, 10 years you got another adams uh, blue down here you got Callaway x series these came out a long time ago although they sold those at like um Ah, uh, where do they sell those? Academy Sports up until like a couple of years ago. We got some used, I don't know, some new irons over here. Oh no, these are definitely uh, used. If they had these still in plastic, the McGregor V-Foil attorneys, these things are absolutely, these are on my uh, bucket list. If there was a full set of them, I think it's missing the eight iron now that I uh, look at it, but the combo set of these and the blades are some of the best looking irons that I've ever seen. Just look at these things when you're standing over the ball get the uh i forget what you would call that but like the diamond outlines of the uh, grooves mm -hmm. those things are absolutely stunning diamond dots. diamond dots there you go that's the technical term <laughs> got some brand new and plastic newer stuff we also have a, a cleveland m x17 i don't know if this is brand new i'm, I'm sure we'll find some more uh, crazy brand oh, new okay. stuff but uh, let's check out the uh, irons we got any of oh what do you got personnel only and, and groundhogs. groundhogs there you go we all qualify <laughs> we got over here some brand new and plastic two red stuff you see any older things i don't know why i get so excited when i see them in here it's just so weird to see them like how old they are and then they're still brand new no one has wanted them or anything like that but uh, we got brand new sets of irons over here basically you're just your stock prices at any uh, golf store uh oh man these things are absolutely stunning some wilson staffs cbs these things are nice too i haven't seen these in person the wilson uh wilson the uh, two edge exotics milled uh oh, blades nice. those things are only 650. i don't know how much those go for but those things are really good looking we also have a launch monitor in here as well in case you wanted to hit anything but uh what else we got over here a bunch of uh tour edge stuff got some more used clubs over here got a tailor-made stealth in how much is that going for these are usually going for like four or five hundred bucks yeah, four hundred dollars. Uh, let's see. We got a brand new and plastic Prince Club over here. 
usually known for uh, tennis stuff. Yeah. See anything good? Oh, this is a classic 905T. Mm -hmm. but I don't know what it is about this store, but they just get I just get super nostalgic for old clubs, even more so than usual. Another 905T. Got a Cali Rogue Sub-Zero. This thing was an absolute rocket launcher when it first came out. Easy for me to say. Mm -hmm. Wilson D300. We may or may not have, depending on when you see this, may or not have uh, just hit that. <laughs> yes. But uh, what else we got? We got more brand new clubs over here. A whole, man, this is all lefties. Oh man, check this out. Nike VR. Dang. It's only $49.99. It looks like it's literally never, oh man. I used this three wood for a long time and the driver for even longer. These things were super easy to hit. The driver that went with this was the BUL 5000. That was oh, the most yeah. forgiving driver I've ever hit. And you guys know. Big, ugly. Big, ugly, and long, long just like me. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what that meant, but sorry. No, uh, we funny. got a brand new and plastic tailor made jet speed. This came out in like 2000, uh, like 2010 or just a little bit before or after that in that general time frame, but still brand new and plastic. That's cool. Am I the only one that finds this interesting? Well, Comment it's, below. It's nostalgia too because you used to come here. So yeah. Going back. And we got another uh, uh, Adams one. This thing is perfectly mint. A 910F. That, what is, what shaft is that? Diamante? Is that the Diamante Red? Yeah, oh my so. goodness. If that wasn't right handed, I'd pick it up for you. A Diamante Red, you use that in your driver. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, as soon as we switched to that shaft, my like game got much better <laughs> yeah it tenfolded <laughs> right so but uh good. yeah we got some pre-built sets over here some That's wilson cool. d7s wilson harmonized got a pebble beach links putter Whoa. Yeah, wilson red. infinite putter oh you got the ping bag yeah. whoa some ping zing orange <laughs> dots those are cool in the uh wgc uh world golf championship yeah, head, like covers. head covers oh man didn't even notice these it got a whole bag of nikes <laughs> look at this head cover is cool yeah oh this is like the perfect little uh, setup right so there cool. Well, so man, you guys know that I love the Nike. What putter has it got going with it? Teamwork. Oh, nice. Those things are good. I have the uh, uh, counterbalance uh, mallet version of that method putter. Mm -hmm. Super, super nice. I never remember the names of the uh, Nike putters. They're uh, like MC something. Well, Adams in the same way. Yeah, it's like uh, Lexuses. <laughs> they all have like different numbers and stuff that mean something, but not to me. <laughs> Guess what? Man, this thing is, I think this is brand new. It's literally mint. Super Adam shiny. Super LS, those things are rocket launchers too. What else we got over here? Some bazookas. Yeah, the Mavericks. Yeah, you got the whole Maverick section now covered. He's got the corner market or the market cornered. <laughs> said that one backwards, like most things. What else we got over here? I feel like I've said what else we got over here a thousand times. It's gonna be like all one scene. It's gonna be pretty fun. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got some Wilson staff hybrids. Oh man, I feel bad for touching that. The chrome is insane on there. Let's see. Got some more tour. They got a ton of tour edge stuff in here. Got a bunch of uh, Callaways as well. Got a whole section of used shafts. Oh yeah, there you go. Hi friends. They they didn't wave. We're peasants to them now that they're up there. All oh, these are all like pulled. No, that's kind of crazy. If you're looking for a, like here you go. Yeah, arrow burner shaft or something like that. Got ping shafts. Got a bunch of uh, nicer shafts in here as well. We got the orange uh, 10 size. Those things are pretty expensive. Uh, $175. I think those ones are brand new. Got some Ventus with Velocor. Those are ridiculously expensive and super uh, nice. What else we got? Whoa, what are these? I don't know. I saw the head covers. What are these? I'm trying to figure out what it says. How long tour issue edges? Never seen those before. Interesting. And it comes with a uh, cover. That's 50% off. Yeah. Oh, it is? I don't know how much they are, but it's pretty cool. I've never seen them before. Well, check out these uh, red, white, and blue grips. Oh, JPX cool. 923s. Okay. See if they got any uh, used iron sets over here. I remember last time they had a bunch of uh, Japanese um, makers. They had like a bunch of Hanma. I think they had Maramon too. Oh, they got a brand new in plastic Adams right here. Super S. <laughs> that is uh, super cool to see still. Uh, they got another brand new set of uh, Adams. Oh, these are two reds, but they're yeah, in the Adams why, thing. That's why I was like... <laughs> yeah, I think they replaced all of the uh, Marumon and like uh, Hanma stuff with two reds. Oh. I think there's a whole putter section. We'll go check that out as well. Also, they have tons and tons of uh, clothes as well. And some of it is like uh, uh, from like events, mm -hmm. and but it's still brand new attack. So like they didn't use it at events. So it's like way cheaper than buying like the equivalent shirt. Yeah, yeah like that one it has like a uh, Worcester uh, logo on there. That's pretty cool. Oh. Overstock, yeah, there you go. Let's go check out the putters. Also, I'm pretty sure that my phone's gonna run out of memory, so this might have to be a couple of scenes. Got some golf alignment sticks for uh, $5. Or 
or these are pulled iron shafts. I was like, why is there a Miyazaki? Uh, yeah, that's why I was like, that's a weird alignment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could use it. It's, it's whatever you want it to be. Yeah. All right, let's figure out. Oh, just stepped all over you, my bad. All let's go good. check out the putters. Let's see. We got some of the Strixon Divides, <laughs> some head covers. Oh, no. No unsupervised children. We're not allowed on here. You're not allowed on. I am. I'm going to step over it. Maybe. There you go. Let's see what we got in terms of the putters. Bunch of the DFX. Got some Tour Edge Wingmans. These things actually look really good. They're kind of like a combination of the uh, this uh, number seven and the um, the new GT of the uh, TaylorMade putters. Yeah, it's a hybrid. Yeah, hybrid. Got a bunch of the Ray Cooks as well. Got some Odysseys over here. Let's see if there's any old ones. I'm trying to find an old one still in plastic. <laughs> Side winning feels like Jordan going up. Yeah. Uh, you see any old ones still in plastic? Got a couple of cure putters. You don't see those every day. And we got a used putter over here for 199 I think that's one of the Ping Hefflers. Yeah. These are the M ones. Right? Yeah. Those are still not terribly old. Uh, we failed you. It is still so cool to see some of this stuff uh, still with the uh, plastic. Yeah. All right, we'll let you know if we find anything Updates else. I failed on the putters. <laughs> oh, look at this. We did not fail on this. Darth Vader bag. That's cool. That is super cool. It's funny, this, the, the dark side and the light yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, updates to uh, come if we find anything else uh, cool. But, uh... Oh, I got your hat. Oh, I was going to help. Oh, what? Ta-da. Oh, wow. Magic. Life hacks with Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost fell anyways. Got tons of the tonic shoes, tons of the tonic, that was easy to say. Wow, there's That's just, shoes. yeah. It's like every single color of zero friction uh, gloves that you can imagine. Huh. All right, like I said, 10 times ago, updates to come if we find anything else. <laughs> if I had just kept the camera going for 10 seconds longer. Right around the corner. Oh my goodness, that Hanma bag is so sick and they've got a bunch of uh, older Hanmas in there. And I think the, I don't know if those are iron covers or those are like the plastic that they shipped with, but that Hanma bag, is the yeah oh that is so cool man absolutely that's stunning i highly doubt that that's for sale is this an entire nike display oh yeah what? this whole thing is a uh, old nike uh, display that is cool that's pretty amazing yeah if we ever open up a shop all of our displays are going to be the most expensive in the world because we're just going to get nike ones there's another one over here i forgot to show look at this oh yeah. it's easier to show from the other side yeah check that out Little that's Nike. So I think cool. that's where the uh, shoes would be. Probably. That is. Got a bunch of uh, cool stuff in here. Uh -huh. Check this out. We got some Lady McGregor's in here. These things are awesome. Huh. Check out this bag, too. I've never seen one like that. It's got like a hickory uh, little leg stands. Uh -huh. It's $199. And also, check this out. I don't know how we missed this. We got a uh, Maurice Allen, a long drive. That Apparently, the longest, what was it? The fastest golf drive is 300 and 39 yeah 211 miles per hour and was achieved by maurice, maurice allen right here. At, right here right in this uh hitting bay and they still have the uh, driver that he used that's, that is super cool and it's signed that's pretty awesome that is pretty amazing that must have been a fun day to witness oh yeah look at this shaft i think that's like a um uh, something to do with like how that camera like records it but it's still cool to see mm -hmm. that is fantastic world long drive record broken right here I, will, I won't be driving or breaking any long drive. Uh, <laughs> well, I definitely won't be. No. Oh, man, I got some corduroy pants. Wait, was it with a three one? Is that what it says? It is. The record was broken here using a Tour Edge Exotics three wood. <gasps> what? <laughs> that is fascinating. Is that the ball you used to? It was a Slazenger golf ball. Man, this place is just full of nostalgia and cool stuff. Oh, man, it just keeps on getting cooler. Check this out. It is literally a size 22 foot joy flex. Look at that. Around here, right? Is, yeah. it, is it a custom order? I must be. To pick it up. There you go. He used to live in Claremont. That is perfect size. Perfect size. You both. fit both feet in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, check that out. It's a, a Tour Edge Exotics demo bag. It's got oh, wheels on it. Wheels. Huh. And a, a Cure roll. Staff bag. You were good to roll. <laughs> Man, check out the deals on these things. We got driver head covers. They're twenty dollars a piece, and they've got a couple from the Woodlands, which is a, oh yeah, super expensive uh, course out, uh, outside of Houston. Sixty-five dollars retail, twenty dollars here. Also, some of the clothes is like ridiculously expensive, uh, like ninety-five dollars retail on this, and then it's forty-nine ninety-nine here. They have a bunch of uh, shirts. The one I think I'm gonna pick up. Are we gonna get a book? 
Yeah, for the nephew. The golf caddy dog. You can learn how to uh, count with <laughs> golf. <laughs> that is pretty sweet. I've never seen that before. But check this out. thirty nine ninety nine for a brand new with tags foot joy shirt. There you go. That's pretty sweet. pretty sweet. The clothes and the uh, head covers. Heck of a deal. Oh man, they got literally brand new Adams head covers. <laughs> I don't know why it's so fascinating to me. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, I think we're going to get the uh, book for our nephew and a shirt. And then uh, if Ashley finds anything. Oh, they got Star Trek head covers. You can tell from the back. <laughs> I've seen these before. I've never seen them in person, though. Those are sick. Kirk. Yeah. How much are these? $39.99. That's not it's a bad deal on that. Bogo. It's Bogo. There you go. <laughs> meant to be together <laughs> you have to buy them together to separate them man they got the old epic bag in here too uh -huh. huh. on the other side i think was uh what do we got yeah, the maple leaves oh nice oh, it's not huh oh man i've got another one over here check this out we got a wayne gretzky foundation phoenix coyotes bag that's so cool huh the embroidery on that is ridiculously a high end mm -hmm. huh 199 dollars that's oh, pretty sweet yeah, and these things are fairly new, too. Oh, I didn't even notice the pull tabs on these. We've seen these before, but those are super cool. Because they were hidden. They were hidden, <laughs> hidden Mickey's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think we picked out what we're going to get, but yes. that was... That's pretty cool. Fun. Yeah. All right, folks, we got ourselves some treasure, and the uh, it was the owner who was uh, checking us out. Yeah. He was super nice. He actually gave us that uh, book for free. It was super sweet. Yeah, super cool. I'd never seen that before, but uh, definitely uh, check this place out. It is so nostalgic, and they have like uh, new clubs too. So if yeah. you're in the area, definitely worth uh, checking out. Well, let's see if we can get the thumbnail. Yep. Yeah. Helicopters yeah. going in the background. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Huh? Not there yet. Well, it's gonna hurt the audio. <laughs> Is this uh, good content, walking backwards in a parking lot? With a helicopter coming for us. There you go. Ready? There we go. Yeah, let me hold it. There we go. There we go. Nailed it. I don't think you guys can hear us, but thank you guys for watching another daily vlog. Daily vlog number something. Hopefully we've earned your subscription. Yep. Last time we were here, there was a McLaren. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, now I remember that. Yeah, it's awesome. I remember what it was either. I remember yeah. it was bright green though. Yeah, it was a, we'll it was link to that to video in the uh, description if I can find it. That was on the main channel. Yeah. But uh, oh, Del Taco goodness. across the street, you got a Sabra Foods, which has some delicious foods in there. Yeah, definitely worth it. area avoiding blood. Well, yeah. yeah. Or if you're coming down for the PJ Merchandise Show, yeah, that's like, too. yeah, it's like right down there. So it's kind of cool if you're uh, into uh, golf clubs, which you probably are if you're going to the PJ Merchandise Show. <laughs> Logic. That's what I'm uh, known for here. But hope you guys did like this video. If you like, subscribe. Eh. See you next time. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. That was a lot of fun. You gonna go to Universal? That was the hint. Did you not get the hint? Yeah. I got the hint. <laughs> the Mickey hat does not reign supreme. Not today. We're closer to Universal now. We're closer to today, yes. Yeah. Not Amor. Today. Amor M. Pedicos. Subscribe for Amor. Uh, Amor waving. Cause... Amor waving. <laughs> Mi Amor. Oh, no. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Hope you guys like... Bye.